Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Good morning. So it's Thursday, 9.23 in the morning and the sun's shining. So the weather forecast today for much of Britain is uh, sunshine, a little bit of cloud, no rain, no snow. So a nice day. But then again, they said that yesterday and we still had flurries of snow and a few bits of rain. So what do the weathermen know? Probably more than me. Anyway, so I'm just hoping that the day stays dry and bright because it would make a nice change. Because um, I could do with a bit of sunshine. So I'm on my way through to see Mum and Dad, Thursday morning, as per usual, off shopping, doing some groceries, who knows what else kind of shopping too. Because the sun's shining today, I've decided to drive the longer, kind of scenic route to Mum and Dad's rather than go through town, which is shorter, quicker, but not as nice. So I've come the long way around, which obviously is longer um, in distance and in time, but it's just nicer scenery. Because the sun's shining, it's worth it. one of those every day. The roof of a supermarket. Some kind of hawk, isn't it? It's like a, there you go. It's like a hawk or something, isn't it? Yeah. He's ringed though. Yeah. I can't get the camera. Good beauty. That oh, wind's getting up. I'm not up well, it's all right. You don't have to pedal. I mean, that's a good job. You can get to that. <laughs> you can go up <laughs> Right, and we're off. Yes, the steering wheel's quite warm, but the sun's been shining on it. Yeah. Oh. Home in no time. So Mum's now safely ensconced back home after doing all the shopping. And I'm on my way back. Traffic has got quite heavy, um, so I'm a little bit dragging, but should be home in about a quarter of an hour or so. So it looks like the weather that we had, the nice weather that we're having today, is going to be short lived because I've just heard on the radio that we've got Storm Jorge on its way. Great, more high winds.
it's Tuesday morning um, 3rd of March already and um, after Saturday's um, extra day and our trip to Art from the Heart where I stocked up on vintage photo everything ink, reinkers, sprays, stains, you name it um, if you had vintage photo written on I bought it <laughs> uh, because I completely and utterly out um, all my ink pads and stuff had dried up um, so really needed a refresh and a revamp uh, and of course we got uh, a few other bits and pieces as well but the reason for actually going um, was that Ian was hoping that there would be the new uh, new release or new spring release ideology stuff from Tim in at Art from the Heart if you get my meaning. Um, but apparently all the stuff that they'd ordered had all been sold on pre-order so there was nothing, none of the new stuff which was really disappointing. So I suppose we should have kind of phoned before we went but seeing as we were having a day out it didn't really make any difference. We still had a lovely lunch at our favourite Italian, Al Bivio. Um, and then obviously we had that little wander around um, Harrogate Town Centre which you saw on Saturday I think it was so yeah um, Sunday was a pretty quiet day we just kind of pottered um, I was having issues I'm currently in the in the process of constructing four handmade journals um, a couple of them are for commissions two of them or one of them is a is a practice journal that I'm making just for me just so that I know what, what I practice one so I'm just honing my skills as it were uh, and the, the fourth one um, I I kind of created the cover ages ago ages, about nearly a year ago I think it was and I just put the cover to one side it was on a remnant piece of fabric um, and then I found it again, dusted it off, and, and thought, mm, do you know what, I think I will. So what I've actually sat and done is I've sat and created a list of themes for journals that I'd like to create. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to constantly have a handmade journal on the go because it's, it's still creative, it's still working with my hands. My elbow, this one, um, is really really giving me some pain at the moment that's the one that I've got the arthritis in the worst um, and recently with all the bad weather we've been having with Storm Kira Storm Jorge and, and the other one that we had um, I've forgotten the name of the other one Susan Brenda whatever it was called um, it's I've been in constant aching pain with my elbow um, so driving Ian's car is a godsend because it's automatic whereas my car is a stick shift um, and because we drive I know the steering wheels on the right hand side of the car in the UK I used to use my left for changing gear so driving Ian's car has been like I said an absolute godsend because it doesn't hurt as much but I haven't been doing a lot of art journaling because I've had so many ideas for um, ephemera, so many ideas for journals, and I've had these other commissions that I've, that I've wanted to get finished, I've kind of, that's all I've really been doing recently. Um, I have been doing some bits and pieces, day job stuff, um, but also I've been designing some stamps as well um, for Indigo Blue release, even though I'm not going to be doing the TV for them anymore um, because of work commitments, um, I will still be designing stamps for them, and Ian's going to be designing some stamps as well for them, um, which he has done in the past. So there you go. Um, so that's pretty much what we've been doing over the past few days. So I've been doing journal making on Sunday. On Monday, it was all admin paperwork. Um, and day job stuff and, and accounts and that kind of thing and, and yesterday just went really really quickly um, and then all of a sudden it's it's Tuesday morning 
you know, and and I need to go out and do some shopping um, because we've run out of bread and a few other minor things. So that's where I'm going to right now. It's Wednesday, the 4th of March, and it's uh, 14.47 currently, so quarter to three in the afternoon. Um, it's all quiet. Ian's taken Mr Bentley out for his WALK while the weather um, has remained kind of dry. It's a little bit overcast, but it's fairly nice. It hasn't rained at all today, so it's been, you know, good. We've been out and about and done a few bits of shopping this morning. Um, I don't normally um, turn the camera on on a Wednesday um, because I'm too busy editing the footage from... Look at the state of my hair. Desperately needs cutting. Um, I'm too busy editing the footage from the previous week for the vlog to go live tonight, basically. Um, so, and it's quarter to three now, so this will be going live at 7 p.m. tonight. So this is hot off the press, basically. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who commented on last night's video about the junk journal. And I'll say junk in quotation marks because quite a few of you said it was too nice to be a junk journal. Um, for me, a junk journal is one that you've put together using scraps and that pretty much was put together using scraps, um, old papers uh, and old fabrics and that kind of stuff. But the difference was it was stitched um, and that was the first time it actually stitched and created a journal with stitching in it. So um, I'm very, very happy to say um, and I'm very thankful to say that it did sell overnight as well. So thank you very much to the lovely lady. I'm not going to mention your name, don't worry. Um, but thank you very much to the lovely lady who bought it. But while I was sat watching TV last night, I got a text message from my sister. Hi, Angie. Um, basically saying that she'd spotted the journal with the skulls and roses on it um, and wanted it. Um, luckily, um, you know, th th that's fine. Obviously, if she wants it when it's done, that's no problem. But overnight as well, I also had another email from another lovely lady um, who also asked for the Skulls and Roses journal. Um, luckily, I have enough fabric to do two. So everybody gets what they want. <laughs> it just means I'm going to be doubly busy creating those journals. Now, before I create those two Skulls and Roses journals, I am aware that I've got other commissions that uh, I need to finish. So, uh, Amanda, your journal is finished, if you're watching this. I just need to put a few little finishing touches to it and then I can ship that out to you. Debbie, I'm already on with your journal. So yes, it has commenced. So as soon as I've done with Debbie's, um, I'm then going to get started on the Skulls and Roses journals. I've also got on the go, I've got a um, another one which I started kind of for me, it was one of those themed ones that I just wanted to have a play with for the content and that kind of stuff. I have more... I enjoy putting together the content for a journal, so creating all the themed ephemera. Uh, and I've started to put together the themed ephemera for a Victor Frankenstein journal. So this is a journal that would have been written by Victor Frankenstein as he was creating and pulling all his information together to create the monster. <laughs> so, but I want to do something different now that I know how to sew. I want to do something different with the cover. It's alive! Yes. So when I've worked on that, that's going to be like a personal project. And when that's created and done, I will do a flip through and a show and let everybody know what's going on or what's happened with that one. Um, but I've also got this massive long list. Um, I don't know where my book is now. I'll put my book down somewhere. Um, a big long list of um, themes for journals that I really want to get through. I said the other day um, that I'd written a list down. Um, and I'm quite excited about some of them because they're going to be really interesting. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, what was I going to say as well? Yes, oh, I'm also very grateful to everybody who put orders in for the um, the wage packet envelopes. Um, yeah, overnight you've put a big dint in <laughs> the envelopes. Um, and this morning, I'll put them away again. Um, this morning I just I started bagging everything up ready to get shipped out in the website orders. So I'm very grateful to everybody who has seemed to be liking what I'm producing at the moment, which is really, really good. Um, my craft room is in a complete and total utter mess. There's bits of paper everywhere. Um, 
and, and bits of this and bits of that as I'm remembering things and putting things away and creating stuff. Like I said, I've got um, pockets that I've already stitched ready to go into other journals and I can't put them away because otherwise I'll forget where I put them. <laughs> so it's an absolute mess. Um, we're also in the process of um, kind of tidying up, getting rid of bookcases. So this bookcase that's over here is going. We're getting rid of that brown one there. Um, hopefully these two here will also go because we want to turn this room back into a bedroom and the smallest bedroom in the house which is at the back of the house is going to be my craft room um, but it's smaller it's about half the size probably less than half the size but it's just going to be my craft room it's not going to be used for an office or anything like that so we need to condense um, furniture and take books that shouldn't really be up here and CDs that shouldn't really be up here downstairs into the kitchen because we've now bought a bookcase for the kitchen which I'll quickly show you now. Okay so we have now got a bookcase to go in the kitchen. So tables there, bookcase there, settee, mind the washing, um, coffee table, that kind of stuff. So that um, little tabley thing there, the console table, that's going to be going. Um, so we're starting to fill this bookcase up with um, with books and with CDs. So that's only a small. When I've got all the CDs from upstairs, it'll probably fill those two shelves there. Um, obviously, there's a couple of little spaces for ornaments and that kind of stuff. But that's pretty much where. Um, we're going to see, keep all of the books. Now the bookcase that we had in the lounge dum -ba -dum 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 -dum, has gone. That's where we had the bookcase where we put hung the, we're going to put it there so we could hang the stockings at Christmas because we've got no fireplace in the lounge. Um, so it's now gone behind the door with other books in like so which is out of the way. Um, so yes, we're very, very slowly getting the house <laughs> how we actually wanted it. So it's going to be a bit of a slow process because obviously when you move into a new house, you've got to decorate everywhere. You've got to buy light fittings and you've got to buy new curtains and you've got to buy this and you've got to buy that. It takes time. And when you work for yourself... Um, you know, money isn't exactly, doesn't grow on trees. So we have to take paid jobs. Um, so obviously day job stuff has to be done. Um, and you've just got to, your time really is, <laughs> is more precious than anything else I think at the moment. So yeah, so we're getting it all ready. Um, obviously we want to get this room turned back into a bedroom. Um, because just in case, Mum and Dad have to come and live with us for a short period of time. Um, we've got the, the coronavirus kind of thing to... That's, I don't want Mum and Dad to be on their own. Um, and if, if we have to isolate and if we have to quarantine or self-quarantine where they can't go out, I don't want them to be stuck. Um, because, you know, if they can't go out, that means they can't get buy stuff. They can't buy food, they can't, buy, they can't do shopping, that kind of thing. So we want to get it so that they can come here and stay here for as long as it needs or as long as it takes so that we can make sure that they are safe and they're not putting themselves in any unnecessary danger. Anyway, enough of that. So yeah, so that's Wednesday. Um, kind of cut back up again. There was nothing really I could do um, to show you for Saturday because you've already seen that one. So this is pretty much the end of the week or the end of this week. So vlogs now run Thursday to Wednesday. And that, as if by magic, Mr. Bentley's back from his walk. So on that note, I will say goodbye for this week and I will see you all again shortly. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.